Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Uh, the other day I made a purchase. I bought a half inch spade handle electric drill. That's this guy right here. And it's a power fist one, so it's kind of a no name one. This is from Princess Auto. And I don't know if there, I don't think there's any Princess Autos in the States, but it's kind of like Herbert Freight sort of stuff, um, I guess. Would be my only comparison. Um, this one is a half inch drill. It's uh, 9 amps, and they have it nicknamed as the mud mixer. Now there was two. There was another one that was specifically for mixing mud, but it's still 9 amps. Still very similar, probably just a different box. This one was on sale for $66. Okay. And that's Canadian price. American price is on this stuff, I don't know, but I thought $66 was a steal. If you rent one of these from you know, Home Depot or one of those other places, um, it'll cost you at least that. At least. And that's just for a day. So I've got this for the rest of my life for $66. Now, it's a bit of a monster. It's heavy. It's old school. It's got a variable speed bit on, or variable speed trigger. And reverse is handy. This comes off. You can adjust uh, the handle. You can adjust this handle in three positions as well. Um, so it's really nice that way. I don't actually use the D handle for anything. It does have a trigger lock on it as well. So if you want to set your variable and then lock it, you could do that. Um, I mixed, I don't know, probably three buckets of thin set mortar yesterday with it. It didn't warm up. It didn't smell. It didn't have any issues like that. A bucket of uh, drywall mud I had to mix. Um, today I'm going to mix more thin set mortar with it because uh, I'm doing tiling right now. So, uh, so far I would have to say this is really uh, a great drill. So far I really like it. And then I got this giant mixing bit on it. So, uh, kind, of a, kind of an industrial application. So, so far so good. Um, the nice thing about these is, say for example, if you do break it, um, Princess Auto's got a great warranty, and uh, you know usually they they'll cover everything for a year, and uh, they're very very nice there, very helpful. So I love to buy my stuff there. I really do. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's about it. I got to get back to work. I've got tons of tiling to do, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Anyway, thanks for watching.